everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. I made some adorable placemats for my grandchildren out of Pat Sloan's new book, Tantalizing Table Toppers. I want to thank Pat Sloan so much for giving me the opportunity to be part of her book tour. I had so much fun making these, and this book is just chock full of easy and fun projects to make that you can do for your family or for gifts for someone and if you are in your quilt shop and you see it I highly recommend that you pick it up I think you'll absolutely enjoy it I'll also put a link to it below but I want to show you these placemats that I made out of her book I chose something kind of simple because we're on the road. As you can tell, I'm in my motorhome right here and I had to find a window where I could get some light. But I am about to get these in the mail to my son in Colorado Springs and then uh, hopefully I'll get some pictures that I can put at the end of this video and you can see. So these are all of the exact same pattern. I used some Marvel fabric. This one, I customized all of these with their names and it's kind of hard to see because this print is so busy but I put Calvin right here in big letters to because you know with kids everybody has to have their own right so I did one here for Aiden he is third grandchild and it's just a really simple half square triangle along the top and bottom with a border and really fun you can knock one of these out in an afternoon and the way the pattern is set is for you to cut everything for two at one time which makes it really easy to put it all together so I will put a link to a video right up here that show you exactly how I embroidered these on my brother NQ 3700 D embroidery travel machine that I have here so this one is made with Marvel fabric with just red and yellow half square triangles and I backed it with black backing it's just plain black and these have already been sprayed with some scotch guard and you know if they get if they get slopped on I don't think it's gonna show <laughs> but anyway yeah and then I just did a self binding on these and for Callie my eight-year-old granddaughter I used Deb strains fabric called Effie's Woods let me show you this it is so soft and pretty just adorable there's the back she is all about all things animals and she will absolutely love this and for the quilting what I did was where the name is I just made sure I did three lines of straight line quilting throughout the center of these and then I stitched in the ditch along the inside line of the border. The quilting is done in such a way that it will not cover the embroidery. And then I did a simple blanket stitch along the edge. And I'm very happy with how these turned out. So I was able to make these while I was on the road. Y'all, this is a perfect pattern. You could do Christmas colors, 4th of July colors. It has a lot of space on it. If you wanted to do applique for maybe like a birthday, you could get a Designs by Juju pattern and do like 8 or 10 or 60 or whatever you wanted. It would be great to put a graduation cap on and then have a graduation cake right next to it. I love doing placemats because they're super quick and easy to knock out and it's not like it's going to take you weeks and weeks to get it done so anyway I want to thank Pat again she's a phenomenal quilter she is a leader in our industry and I was just so honored and blessed that she asked me to take part in this so Pat Sloan thank you so much and I wish you all the best success on your new book tantalizing table okay you guys I've got to get these into the mail so that I can get them to my son and hopefully get some pictures to put here at the end of my grandkids with their new placemats, all right? We will talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.